Do you think there's a Yiddish revival? It's a hard question to answer. In some senses, yes. In some senses, no. There's a, re there's a very small revival in terms of people speaking it as a mother tongue and that there are a few hundred people being raised around the world speaking as their first language whose parents did not speak as their first language. Um, but if you look at the bulk of the speakers in, in terms of Hasidic Jews today, it never went away. It just continued. Um, so in the strict sense of a revival with most of the population, no. In terms of a cultural renaissance of lots of people getting interested in the culture, yeah, there's a definite um, cultural renaissance. Uh, it seems to have started in the 70s and 80s with the music and extended uh, further into the arts and the language itself and even a bit in literature, both in Yiddish and English. I know when I decided and made the insane decision that we were going to publish another issue of the Jungenschrift Journal, um, you know, I had no idea if we'd get any submissions. I thought it's an experiment, you know. And I thought it'll take months for the submissions to come in. People have to write them. Next week, I have 30 submissions in my inbox. What happened? I look. I realize these are all things these people had been writing before. They didn't write them for this, journal, this magazine. They didn't write them for another magazine. They were just writing them. You know, native Yiddish-speaking kids in Israel, Yiddish students in the United States. Um, for, you know, there are all these people writing in Yiddish. I didn't know. A lot of the material wasn't particularly good. Some of it was pretty good. But just the fact that it was being written, you know, I don't know whether that's a revival or a continuation, but it's certainly a renaissance. There's certainly more there than there was. The fact that you know, we had a 10-year-old girl write a really good story that won our writing contest, and we had a 25-year-old ex chassid write poems, and they didn't write them for us. These were just things that had been written. And when I s decided to revive the journal, I thought, I'm going to, you know, convince people to write in Yiddish. Huh. I was very pleasantly surprised that nobody needed convincing. It was being done. I was a, as a bit of a fool. What, what, what do they need me for? I'm just providing a venue. It's much better.